Okay, welcome to Iron Rats. My name is Randy Miller. What we've seen right here is a full service uh, chest freezer wrap. So it's more or less, I'm going to show you how to install a chest freezer wrap. And uh, if you're looking for something, uh, a full service, you go to armwraps.com website, go on the bottom, you'll see um, the full service uh, button and it'll tell you what we want. So this is um, the Magic Chef 7 cubic uh, chest freezer and a, a customer wanted us to do the full service and that's what we're doing. Devin right now is actually cutting it and getting it ready for us to uh, start installing it. But for right now, we're going to start prepping it out. Uh, on its Magic Chef one, this that does have a plastic coating to it. So before you install it, make sure to remove that plastic coating. It's kind of a pain, but once it's done, it's done. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to use a heat gun for the emblem right here. And it'll just pop it right off. And, and uh, once everything is nice and clean, I'm going to actually double clean it. I'm going to use the invisible glass cleaner. It actually does really good uh, getting all the oils. It shouldn't have any oils because it has a film over it. But just get it nice and clean. And uh, so if you're looking for a template right here, I have one of the videos in the description box down below. And also um, the measurements. Uh, on, uh, so if you go in the description box down below or on the top right hand or left hand corner, uh, there should be a thing popping up. Uh, you can click on that. And so, again, if you want any uh, custom designs, let us know. We have some designs on the chest freezer wrap. And it's, if you go to armwraps.com website, top of the website, appliances, you'll see chest freezers. We've got a few here and there. But stay tuned. We're going to start wrapping that, uh, the graphics on this guy right here. But right now, we're going to actually... Remove the plastic. I'm going to do a time lapse so it's not so painful to watch. So let's go to it. Okay, here's what you need to do is get a heat gun or a hot blow dryer and you can it'll pop off nicely. All right, every once in a while the glue doesn't come off, so I usually use uh, goof off. Get a rag. And just kind of work, start working it in. All right, so the last step to getting it uh, prepped out is I use invisible glass cleaner and just kind of Holds it all over. So these are the prints right here. These are the both sides. And all the prints we have, we always put markers. So, light, there you go. We always put like a little markers right there in case the corners of the doors. And so we do it for the, uh, for the DIY customers, but also for us too. So it's a lot easier and faster and more accurate uh, when we're installing and everything. Also, what we do is we cut the backing right here. It's called tacking it on. And so uh, we just remove this right here and we tack it on. Same thing right here. Every print, all the prints we do, we print out on the Latex, uh, HP Latex 700W series printer. And we print out a matte sheen. This is actually the front part of this right here. On the front part, we always cut from up and, uh, up and down. We install left to right. And this is actually for the door or the top part right here. And we always cut the backing right here again, um, going up and down or front to back. So it's a, when you're installing it, you go left to right. All right, so let's start on the front part or the top part right here. It makes it a little easier. What we're going to do is we're going to cut uh, right up to the edge rim right here. And uh, so the vinyl is right, nice and clean right up to the edge. Okay, let's go for it. So with every order, you're going to get a squeegee and a knife, and this is exactly what you're going to get, this kind of squeegees right here. This is what we make in the house. We, we print the, the arrows on there so you can actually follow the arrows when you're installing, but also if you ever forget how to do it, you can scan this QR code in, and then you can actually watch the videos of how we install it, or how we work the, the squeegee and everything. All right, so after everything is done and clean and getting everything organized so you can actually remove this tacking on strip 
so you can move it around and get it all nice where you need to be at. And um, on this one, I forgot to just to put the, the markers on there, but that's not a big deal on this top part. But you can actually see how long it, it takes me a little bit longer to adjust to exactly where it needs to be. So as a punishment for me is I need to do the old fashioned way and figure out exactly where it is going to be at. There you go. So once you're happy with this part right here, you just tack it on. Now, if you notice on this one right here, this texture, there has a, like an orange peel texture to it. The vinyl does go nicely over the orange peel texture. Uh, you do have, you do see a little bit of the texture, not as much, but you do see a little bit of texture. Now the tacking on strip is now on. It's not going to go anywhere. You can move it up and down, whatever. And now I'm actually going to actually feel exactly where it is. Um, and I need to know if I need to change it up or not. And it just actually looks pretty good. Wrapped around all the corners, wrapped around the front. And if I need to move it around, move it left, right, up and down. I could pull it off and it would, you know, tack it right here still. Pull off, move to the left, move to the right, wherever I need to do it, and then uh, put it right back down. That's the beauty of tacking it on. You're just tacking on one little strip, not the whole thing. Um, so next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the backing out, go about halfway, see what you're doing right here. I'm going to actually pull the vinyl up just enough for it to, the vinyl is coming upwards like this. And I'm going to use my squeegee. I'm going to follow these arrows right here. So that's what the, the whole trick is, following the arrows. And I'm, I'm pushing, trying to get, show you the arrow waist doing it. So I'm going to be pushing it. I use my thumb, especially right here. You can use your thumb, put the weight down right here to get nice and even. And once you get that pattern of following the arrow, then you can start cooking a little bit more. Okay, this little edge right here, this little corner edge, it's designed to go shove it right in that corner so it's actually getting into that corner right there. So you can see it's actually shoving in there. Now right here on the back end of this, uh, the freezer, it's at a four, I recommend where it, right, right where it starts to curve. You do like a 45 degree away from the body and then you actually can start uh, doing the back side of it. This is the front part right here. Again, you can take a right where that starts curving a little bit. You lift the vinyl up a little bit, take another 45 degree angle or an angle away from the body. So the vinyl relaxes. You can see there where the vinyl is relaxing. Okay, so next you take your, the tip right here again, just shove it in as far as you can, just get the extra vinyl going in there, and you take your, your cutter, take your time, and cut all the way down. Release, then you got a nice clean cut right there. Now let's go on the other side. Flip it over again, go halfway, Grab this, the, the right hand now and pull it this way so it's a little taunt. And now you just kind of follow the arrows. You can go like this. I'm more of a right hand, so I'm just going to go, just going to follow the arrows going this way. Now, if you get any little air bubbles in it, you can massage it out, lift the vinyl up like this, get the, the vinyl off, and then, then reapply it again. Remember, your thumb is pushing down. Take your, your edge right here again. So take your edge right here again and then kind of shove it in there as far as you can. So you see the vinyl lifting up. Take your edge right here, cut away, right where the corner is at. Take a cut away. Again, another way. 45 degree angle if you want, cut away. And then take your knife. 
run your knife against the, the edge. Then you are nice and golden. Okay. Okay, let's do the front part of it. Usually there's a handle there. And if there's a handle there, uh, a lot of times we just kind of uh, stretch it over and then wrap it. But on this one, there is no handle. I'll try to make a video on that. Now I'm just taking my thumb. I can actually feel everything that I want to feel. Take your corner again. There you go. Pinch it in. Go straight down. Straight down. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to lift. I did take the the seal off. So the seal is off. It's easier to install it when there's no seal on there. And the back is, does it have, okay, it has little ga uh, things right here. Okay, a lot of times they pop right up. Pop right up. I'm going to cut, I'm going to go straight up like this, straight up like that, same thing. Okay. Right where the wire is at, I'm going to cut around it. So you can see I kind of went all the way around it. Take your squeegee and try and get as close as you can and then use your knife. So on a lot of the uh, when you're installing it on the front and the sides, I recommend doing the front first and then the sides next. Uh, the reason why you want to do the front because you want to overlap the vinyl going this way and also this way. And then if you have like a, like a pattern or a uh, strips right here, you can actually match it better going, um, you know, this way and the left and right side of it. Okay, so right here, as you can see, the tacking on strip right here. That's one part right there. Next, you take... You can take your uh, your your thumb, or you kind of. I'm aiming this little marker right here, this little gray marker. I'm aiming that and that together, so it lines up perfectly. Okay, there and there. I could, if you have someone in the hand, you can. That'd be great. Or you can take your knee. That's what I'm doing. Take your knee and tack it on. So the tacking on is, is great. So now I'm happy that's that's right on the money right here, here, and here. Uh, nothing's really blocking anything. This little lay, this little guy right here is not uh, interrupted with the the temperature thing. And you got about a half inch bleed on left and right hand side. Now here's one. Here's one option you could do. Uh, usually it's on the bottom right here, so um, you can actually lay, if it, if it hasn't been used or there's nothing inside of it, you can lay this thing flat on the back and then do it this way. Or you could take something like what I'm doing right here. So I'm going to take a foam board. I'm just going to lift it up. Place it underneath. There it is. There's that one. There's that. So the vinyl is actually resting or, or going straight down. So it's just easier to install if it has nothing in there. Or what you can do is you can tack it on and you can cut like a, uh, not all the way to the edge of it, but just right like halfway between there and there. 
and do it that way. If you have stuff in it, it's really heavy and stuff like this, but this is one little technique. Okay. Now, the, move the backing, probably about 12 inches or so. You can grab it on your, the, my left hand side and then use your squeegee and you squeegee all the arrows left to right. Okay. Next, you go, same thing, you can just grab it right here and then follow the arrows. Again, if you get an air bubble in it, you can actually pull it off like this or just kind of massage it out and do it that way. Now, that little guy right here, that's where the heat gun comes in. You can actually sink in that little guy right there. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So if it's popping up just like what you're seeing, it's best to kind of get as close as you can. Take a heat gun. See how it's dancing and softening up right there? And you just kind of walk it in. That's what you're seeing right now. I'm kind of walking it in. There we go. And if you don't get it right away, you can actually pull it off and restart again. Next, once it's on there, you can soften up the vinyl a little bit more. Now this section right here, you just kind of, um, oops. Now we're going to do this top part right here. You take your squeegee, and you can do two different ways. You can actually shove it in here like this and walk it in. Okay, it's walked in. A lot of times what I do is I can take my, my fingernails and, and, and get this a little bit tighter in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my knife. Take my time and go straight over. Okay. Next is you want the vinyl to just to come sneak over to the side just where you're seeing right here. All right, so next when you do the sides, you just make the vinyl, it's a, usually it's a half inch uh, overlap right here. So you want the vinyl to come right where you need to be. So again, we got little markers right here. You can see right here, that little gray dot right there on both sides. They're gonna indicate the corners of it. The vinyl did lap over about a half inch. We're gonna pull the, the tacking on strip off. Now we're going to use our thumb so we can kind of feel where that those edges are at. And when you're happy, clap your hands. And then you're set. Okay? Just double check everything right before you install it. That's the beauty of attacking it on. Okay. Keep your squeegee. Lose your knife. Oh, nice right here. First, I would recommend maybe doing the top part. Take your squeegee, squeegee it on. Shove it in there. Get in the corners. Just make it get as tight as you can in there, okay? I always like to triple check everything. Make sure everything looks great before I go in there. There you go, that looks good. Okay, next, I would pull the, the backing. I grabbed the backing. I got about, right about here. I'm just going to let it fall down so it's lifting up and down. And now I'm going to take my squeegee, follow the arrows. Okay. 
Again, if there's any air bubbles in it, you can pop the vinyl off. As you can see, I'm kind of rolling it. Now I'm going to do the front part, or the top part right here, I'm going to cut, take my time, feel the groove of that man, there we go, there we go, nice and clean, uh, on this back, this is the back part of it right here, so what, uh, oh, actually I'm going to do the bottom part next, take my blade, run against it, there we go, back part's done. Now on this one, I'm just going to lay it all the way in the back. And when I get done, I'm going to use a heat gun. I'm going to sink it in the back. The top part right here where you flip, or there's a little flipper right here. So let's see the flipping. You want to cut this off, so I'm going to take, I'm going to go right down the middle, right, you see right here. And I'm just going to softly drag all the way down and then go straight up. There we go. Now it is a nice clean cut, as you can see. Let's go on the other side. We're going to look for the little dots right here and here. Actually, oops, I forgot to take the attacking on strip right here. So we look for the little dot. I feel those little dots here and here in my thumb. I'm going to actually tack it on. Just double check everything. Looks good. good. Feels good. Okay, tacking on strip two, tack it on, tack it on. I like to use my little top part squeegee right here, just dig it in. Sometimes it doesn't get in as far as I want, so you can take this vinyl down and you can dig it in again, right where you're seeing right there, okay. Take your blade, man, and cut in the groove. Now, that's set, looks good. I'm gonna take the backing off, go about 12 inches down, let it rest. Take your squeegee. Go all the way down. Now this is what has the grid, or the vents. So we're gonna go cover the vents, then we're gonna actually cut the vents out. Going right over the vents. Now there's little screws here, here, and here. Uh, what we can do is use a heat gun, sink the screws in. Okay, so last but not least, you put the weather stripping or the seal up, back right back on. Usually it snaps right on. Look for the grooves. And call it good.
There she is. So if, you, if you're looking for a full service, you can actually contact me at info at rmraps.com. You can also call me at 208-696-1180. You can check out more samples. Uh, if you want just the wraps, you can go to rmraps.com website. And top of the website, you can see um, appliances and then uh, uh, chest freezer. We don't have a lot of designs on it right now, but if you're looking for a custom design, let us know and we can kind of help you there. This is actually a custom design. The customer uh, hired a graphic designer and they, they shot the, the file, an Illustrator file to us and then we just kind of fine tune it a little bit because we, when we get it in hand, uh, the actual freezer in hand, we want to find that have exactly where it needs to be. So we fine tuned it in, in Illustrator, printed it out on the HP Latex uh, 700W series printer and uh, matte sheen, air release vinyl. And uh, so if you want just the prints, let us know. You can, there's a reason why you make these videos so you can actually wrap it yourself. Uh, if you want the full service, let us know if you want one or a thousand, let us know. We can help you there. And um, other than that, uh, if you want the, the template, go to armwraps.com website. Bottom of the website says free templates. It's going to be there. This is actually, this is the, uh, the chef, Magic. Magic Chef 7 cubic feet uh, chest freezer wrap, or chest freezer. And... It's on there, but it's pretty close to a lot of the chest freezers, uh, seven cubic uh, chest freezer right there. But uh, yeah. All right. Thanks. If you got any comments, comment down below. We'll answer you. And I think that's it. I'm beat. <laughs> I will talk to you there. Thank you. Oh, one last note. So when you're doing a, when you need a full service, we always uh, take pictures, videos uh, to show the client before we ship it out. So uh, on the video thing, we actually use a Bonjuro app in the description down below uh, of this video. You can see the Bonjuro app and it basically it's an email video going right to the customer or to you guys. So I'm going to right after uh, doing this video, I'm going to make a video on the Bonjuro and say, hi, so and so, this is it. I'm going to walk around it and take pictures and uh, tell me what you think. If there's anything else you need. Or if you want to add on to it or it doesn't look right, uh, please let us know. We can fix it right now and kind of go from there. And this is exactly what we normally do uh, when we do the full service. We like to be as transparent as possible and, and make it work and, and make the customer happy. And that's what we're, we're, we normally do. So that's the full service service that we normally do. All right, I think I'm done. Talk to you. Bye.